After nearly six months, a Fort Collins family is finally reunited with their camping trailer. So they say in October, the trailer just disappeared from the storage facility where it was parked for the winter. Denver 7's Amy Watt has followed up with a family who says the trailer is a lot different now than the way that they left it. We have it back now and uh, it's trashed. It's literally trashed. Just everything is charred. Fire damage, smoke damage, water damage from the fire department. A lot of belongings inside of it that were not ours. While Kalina Elfgren and Austin Kissel are happy to have their camping trailer back, they say they are heartbroken at the condition of the inside. That's my grill. That's my table. Some of those blankets are ours. Everything else is stolen. I just like broke down crying. We first introduced you to this couple back in November, days after their camper was stolen from JNL storage. They say the gate was cut to get into the facility and the locks on their trailer were cut through. And they hooked up to it and just ripped the to tie your lock apart with, you know, with the weight of the camper. There's a camper right there. More than a month later on Christmas Day, the couple says they got an anonymous tip from Facebook. Someone spotted their trailer on the other side of Fort Collins, so they followed up on that lead. We saw the back of it, which had the Harley Davidson sticker. The couple called the Larimer County Sheriff. They made contact with the camper. The woman came out surrendered her and then we saw smoke flowing out and a gentleman booked it into the cattails. The Larimer County Sheriff's Office says 40 year old Joshua Eldridge and 36 year old Aaron Huff were arrested on charges of arson, cruelty to animals and obstructing a peace officer. Eldridge was also charged with theft, motor vehicle theft and resisting arrest. It was hard, <laughs> very emotional day. Now it's a matter of deciding whether to keep the old or go with new. We'll see what we can salvage, but I think it's trash at this point. We're supposed to be getting arrested 17,000. So they're waiting to see if they get the cash first, but that cash is just under half of what they spent fixing the trailer up. We spent every weekend we had off not going camping and every day after work fixing it. Sharing so many memories in what they called their second home for so many years. Moving forward, they say they'll be keeping their trailer parked in their driveway. While they had the VIN numbers for everything, Kalina and Austin say they do a few things differently next time. GPS tracker. And get their camper insured. Amy Wattis, Denver 7. It is such a shame. If you have something you would like our Denver 7 team to follow up on, we have a form you can fill out at the bottom of our stories on denver7.com. Our team is constantly checking new follow-up requests as they come in.